Hi, my name's Lenny, and today I'm going to show you how I do strep the carpus leaves. First of all, I've already done this is strep the carpus Canterbury surprise. I've already done that one. I use a, an egg carton. It's a plastic egg carton. Opens like this. One of the reasons I put the black mark on this edge is so that I know um, <laughs> which side of the carton opens. But the top goes like that, and then this section, which would hold the eggs in place, opens like that. And this is where I put the leaves, and these are the leaves that I've just put down of Canterbury Surprise. Now, once the leaves are down and the lids are closed up like this, I make sure, and you probably can't see it, but right here I've written Canterbury Surprise, February 2nd, 2011. So I know when that was put down. Now the perlite that I, I put my leaves in straight perlite and the perlite that you see here is saved from other leaves that I've put down. I've heard it said by others and I kind of think it's true that leaves when they go and they start to uh, reproduce, put out babies, they kind of produce their own um, rooting hormone. So I reuse the, reuse the uh, perlite over and over. Now this is a streptocarpus white ice. I want to take this leaf out. There's a new growth growing right in under there. And I don't want to have it crowded in there. So I'm going to take this leaf out. But there are a few buds in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about three inches or less above that bud and remove the leaf like that. Those buds will still come up and open, and you won't even know it's gone. Let me just slide this out of the way. I then turn the leaf over and cut down the midrib. And then I'll cut two sections that will fit inside the egg crate, like that. Okay, I'm going to use my sucker plucker and just make a little trough in there. Set my leaf in. Pack that perlite in the back a little bit. And as you can see, the leaf is sitting there maybe an eighth of an inch. Not much more than that. And do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you put down the edge that you've cut away from the midrib. Make your little trough, sit the leaf down in there, back it up a little bit, and bring perlite up into the front of it. Now I may have made an error here. Let's see what happens. That's not too bad. In some cases where the leaves are big, you might have to trim the tops of them. Just slice the corner, but they'll be all right in there. Um, the perlite's already a little damp over the course of time while you're waiting. You might want to check it once in a while. Put um, a few drops of water in there and then write down what the plan is. This is white, ice, and we put this down on February the 2nd, 2011. And that's all there is to it. Now you just need to sit and wait and hope for the best. But it's very exciting when those first babies start coming up. Okay, thank you.